What's up, Wolfpack? It's Friday, September 25th. I'm Ken Passion. And I'm Gabby Bonbon, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. And it's finally Friday, so here's Pop with Paula Sabulo. What's poppin' Wolfpack? I'm Paula Sabulo, and this is Pop, where we pop in and show you posts of the pack. Even though we're all stuck at home, you can still use our hashtag CHSWPTV for a chance to be in our show next week. Now, let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Gabby Lipsky. Hi, my name is Gabby Lipsky, and I'm your Wolf of the Week. I'm involved in yearbook. I'm this year's editor-in-chief and copyright editor. I'm also ASB vice president and I play varsity softball for the school. I would say my hobbies include just practicing softball, working out, and spending time with my friends and family. Um, I'm a pretty big people person. I love spending time with people. Um, I love engaging and talking with them. So I know COVID-19 has been especially difficult, not being able to see all my friends at school, my teammates, my teachers, um, and just like kind of being cooped up because I'm a big talker, so (laughs) it's been rough. My plans after graduation are to attend a four year in California and major in journalism or communications with an emphasis in social media. And from there probably become a journalist. (laughs) Um, I don't really know what specifically I wanna do, but I do know I wanna do something with journalism because I enjoy English and writing and talking to people. I would say Corona has affected the making of the yearbook and the way that this year we heavily depend on virtual platforms to get all of the information and coverage that we typically had at our fingertips when we were on campus. Um, And while it's more difficult, I think that it's definitely going to be super rewarding when we're able to hold the book in our hands and see all of our hard work pay off. But on that note, if you do see any photo contests or opportunities to be in the yearbook floating around in your synergy on Instagram or Twitter, please make sure that you engage and send in your pictures because we'd love to put you in our book. Yeah, but on a closing note, buy your yearbooks. They're on the school website or on our Instagram page. And you just should because it's a documentable year. So you would want to remember it. So go do that. (laughs) Thank you, Gabby. Good luck with the rest of the year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paula Sabulo. See y'all next week. This week was homecoming. Since we didn't get to have our usual homecoming week like those in the past, let's get a brief history lesson with Ashley. Homecoming is very traditional to the United States, and over the past hundred years, it has evolved to what we know it as today. As for where this tradition started from, three schools claim to have started this tradition. The University of Illinois, University of Missouri, and Barley University in Texas. In 1912, students would decorate their homes and dorms in excitement for the competing football teams. Between 1920 and 1976, people would start to vote for homecoming queen, then king. Other traditions include the homecoming parade, alumni band, and the homecoming dance. Apple released a new iOS update on September 16th. Here's me and Paula with more information. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Paula Spulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon, and here's what you need to know about the new iOS 14 update. Apple has been releasing an iPhone every year since 2007 but this year they released a new update that totally transforms your device. On September 16th, Apple launched the new iOS 14. Updates are typically no big deal, but this one is. Apple users are used to caring more about the camera, battery life, and storage with our new iPhones, but the iOS 14 is all about convenience. On the new home screen, the app library organizes all of your apps in the rightmost screen into categories and by the most used. You can choose which apps you want on your main screen along with widgets. Widgets give you at-a-glance information and are customizable in size so you can choose how much information you want to see at once. The app Widgetsmith allows you to customize your main apps, display on your screen, and replace app icons with pictures. With the new update, phone calls and FaceTimes notify you only as a small banner rather than taking up the whole screen. You can now keep watching your FaceTime call while on other apps rather than being unpaused. In the new messaging update, you can pin up to nine conversations for easy access. When you reply directly to a message in a group chat, the update focuses on the chain of messages. When you mention someone in a group chat, their name is highlighted for faster replies. You can also customize profiles in a group chat with new Memoji styles. Maps have a new feature for electric vehicles. The app automatically sets a route with charging stations along the way. 
The new Translate app can translate up to 11 different languages to have a natural conversation. The app also includes attention mode, making it easier to read with a landscape view. The Home app can manage your smart home more securely with alerts when someone enters a specific zone within your camera's view. Your video camera doorbell can even recognize faces to be saved and notify you who's at the door. And we can't forget about Siri. Just like the new FaceTime and phone calls, Siri appears in the compact view so you can continue what you're doing while speaking to Siri. She can now send audio messages and gives broader answers to your questions. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Gabby Bombalon. And I'm Paula Sabulo. Back to the anchors. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Gabby Bonblon. And remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Have a great day, Wolfpack.